Hello everyone. Today I am going to just show you how I did those no heat curls that I had. This is the night before my 2021 spring handbag video. So the first thing I do is spray on this IGK 4-in-1 spray that detangles, it has heat protectant, it's supposed to get rid of frizz, you know, all the stuff. So they want you to put that on first. So that's what I do. And then I put one pump of the Kerastase oil, the real thick one, the elixir. And I put that on my ends and on my sides, the fragile hair. Then I take my wet brush paddle brush. I've tried every comb brush pick and several wet brushes, tangle teasers, everything, and I prefer this paddle brush. And I figured out I needed to switch my phone over. So that's what I did. And so now I'm just brushing out my hair. You guys know I've been kind of battling the hard water here in this house that we're renting while we build. So we can't really do anything like install a water softener. So we did put a filter on our shower head and we have to change the actual filter in that filter about every two weeks. And I did get the Malibu hard water shampoo and conditioner and I use that like once a week. And it has helped, I can tell a difference. I think I had used, the, the night that I washed my hair here, I had used that Kerastase. I can't remember the name of the shampoo and conditioner. The, the conditioner is the Sika conditioner. It's kind of purple. It's in the blonde color treated range. And um, I love it. It makes your hair really shiny. So I just took my towel and kind of squeezed some of the excess water out. And now I am just starting to rough dry my hair with the Dyson hair dryer. And you guys know I love hair dryers. I have so many of them and I like them all, but and I I think that, you know, maybe some other ones would do it faster. I don't know. This that Dyson does pretty fast, but what I like about it is it just doesn't get that hot. Like even when I am blow, blowing on my hands or whatever, it's not too hot. Whereas the other ones just get so hot that it scares me that I'm damaging my hair too much. So I always go back to this one. And I always make sure I have the attachment on it so it doesn't get too close to my hair. Now I am just um, kind of drying the underneath of my hair. But I don't do it just all crazy all over the place. A lot of times I'll hold the ends of it like in a loose ponytail and then I will dry, you know, around the nape of my neck. But I just don't dry it like crazy all over the place because that just makes it even more frizzy. I try to always blow dry down. Let's see, now I'm going to get my Sportette brush. I love this brush. And it's you can see that it's kind of long, so it does a lot of hair at one time. And you can see I have some little tangles in my hair. I just kind of go over them lightly and eventually they will smooth out. That's basically what I'm doing here is just drying and smoothing my hair. I don't section it or anything like that because it's I'm not really trying to do a blowout. It's just basically trying to get my hair dry and, you know, keep it as smooth as possible. Okay, now I am going to, when I'm about halfway or 60%, I'd usually put a pump of the Colleen Rothschild Hair Serum. Hers is really good for smoothing and shine, so I usually do my sides and my ends and around my face, all of the most fragile, frizziest places. Put that in there, and then I'll take the blow dryer again and just try to, you know, bend my ends under just a little bit. No big deal. But even when you're doing this 
no heat hairstyle, your ends will be out a little bit, so you kind of want to smooth them just a little bit. And here's where I'm doing the ends. Now I'm going to turn my head over one more time just to get the underneath dry. I like to get it pretty dry, 95% to, you know, I don't want to go overboard, but I do not like sleeping in damp hair. I can't imagine people that go to sleep with wet hair or a wet bun. <laughs> And this hairstyle, you know, you guys saw it in the handbag video the next morning. And then at the end, I'll put a picture, you know, of both days, the day after and then the day after that. So it usually lasts a good two days. I mean, it's still clean the third day. It just doesn't have much curl left. But I don't sleep with it up after that first night. Okay, so I put it away in my closet, and then I'm going to get the belt out of my Skims robe, which I have enjoyed that robe. I've enjoyed that one and the Barefoot Dreams. It just depends on how cold it is, but no robe compares to the Mason. I can't remember the name of that one right now, but I'll put it below. It's the Mason. Oh, I can't remember. The one with the banded sleeves. That is my all-time favorite, but it's not really a winter robe. Okay, even though my hair is parted, you know, somewhat on the side in the front, I part it down the middle when I'm sectioning it off. And I get a little clip to put the belt or whatever you want to call it, kind of secure it in place and I put it towards the back of my head. And you could probably adjust, you know, what size of belt you're using. I've seen people do it with a sock. I've seen all kinds of different things. And then right here, you know, you'd section your hair off in two different sections, and you're gonna use the belt as one section and braid all three pieces. So I like to get my front part smooth and going back and the first twist I do is back. Then I take all of it and start braiding it. Now, if you wanted it to be tighter and curlier in the back, you could almost do that top section and do like a French braid, but I just do mine like a regular braid. I don't know if I want it that curly all over. But you can play with it and adjust it. You'll learn how you like it. And it's easy, for me at least, it's easy to get confused because you're feeling it with your hands, but then when you look in the mirror, it's doesn't, it isn't the same. And so you'll see, I get tripped up and I have to undo it and start again because I want to keep it really kind of tight and smooth. I never was one that could French braid my own hair. I just don't have that coordination, I guess. I 
<laughs> See, I'm getting confused right now. I have to look in the mirror and get a grip. Here we go. Now I think I've got it. And I usually just, you know, try to go all the way to the bottom and then I'll have one piece that's longer and I'll try to at least wrap it around a little bit more. And typically I didn't do it on this side and I don't know why. I must have felt under pressure. But typically what I do is I take that end right there and I kind of double it up on the end. You'll see when I do the other side because I feel like that gives it, I don't know, like some cushion so it won't crimp the ends as much. But you can just play around with how, what you do with the ends. Matter of fact, when you take it out the next day, sometimes the ends will be kind of crazy looking and you could always, you know, bend them with a curling iron or whatever. I usually don't mess with them because to me that's just part of the look. <laughs> yeah, see, typically I would have put that up in there, but then I decided just to leave it out. Okay, now we're going to do basically the same thing with the other side, smooth out the front, and then make sure the front is the first piece that goes back, then come around with the rest of the section. And if you wanted to, you could probably put something in it like mousse or a styling cream or something like that that may get the style to hold a little bit better. But I like to use the least amount of products that I can and it lasts long enough for me. But it probably would hold the, the curl or bend or whatever we're doing here. It would probably hold it more if I put something else in it. But I kind of like it fluffy and clean and shiny. You can see I'm getting messed up. As usual, I leave my bloopers in most things because this is just really how it goes. Like with my wing liner or my lashes, I mean, half the time I have to re take it off and put the lash back on or take some makeup remover and fix my wing. It's just the way it is. And so I just had to go, you can see, I had to go back up and start over, kind of, get my rhythm. I'd probably be better off if I didn't even look in the mirror. Okay, now this one you'll see, I'll bring it up and double it, the end of the belt. And I think that's better because, like I said, you get less of a crimp on the end of it. And now I think I'm done. And then I realize <laughs> that whole big chunk got left out. So I think I didn't like the way I did this one over here anyway. So I just took it out and I redid the whole thing. That's just what you have to do sometimes. You can see it was already crimping it a little bit. Okay, so I just basically do the same thing. Okay, now just put the rubber band at the bottom. I try to just make sure the ends are kind of smooth and that I'm not 
doing anything crazy at the bottom to mess it up. And that is it. So now you can take that clip out and just walk around with your your ears hanging low or you can clip it up. Usually I clip it up until I literally, you know, turn everything off and go to sleep. Then I'll take that out and flip them up. And that is it. Cute, I know. Okay, now this is the next morning and this is early, early, early. Not early, but right when I got up. I had not gone to the bathroom or weighed myself or anything. So, here's Janelle. So, you'll see I just take it out gently. And I don't put any product in it and I don't brush it out. I pretty much just let it go, you know, for an hour or two, you know, while I'm doing all my stuff in the morning. And then I think that day I just put a little bit of the Orbe texture spray, you know, kind of sprayed up underneath it just to get some body at the top. And that's all I did. I don't use hairspray or anything. And at first you might feel kind of freaked out, like it's going to be just too much, but it will relax somewhat. And when you separate them, it'll get better. So that's what I'm doing here. Say so thanks for watching. Okay, this is that next day. And then the next picture is today, the next day. See you later.